have too much clothing. I've been holding on to too much. This has been a long time coming. <laughs> Life is a winding road. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny. Today, I hope is something that you guys will find exciting as it falls into the decluttering category. We're going through my closet and we are going to refresh everything that is in there. Shop through it, rediscover a few different items, as well as go through and have a serious conversation with myself on what is realistically part of my wardrobe. What do I actually wear? What do I foresee myself wearing moving forward? I am officially a month and a half postpartum. So I had Ainsley, my daughter, a month and a half ago. And of course, from pregnancy into postpartum and everything, my body's changed a lot, which is completely fine. But I wanna make sure that my closet is a reflection of what I actually am able to wear versus uh, what people refer to as your fantasy self, or maybe just a past life. Try everything on, which is a whirlwind. It's a lot of clothing to try on. Put things into bins if I'm not ready to get rid of them, but I'm not ready to wear them tomorrow, but really hone in and have a closet that is ready to wear so it's easier to get dressed and I'm not wearing the same, you know, pink t-shirt every single day. It's kind of a repeat of my very first YouTube video. Of course, you can just find it on the channel. That first video was a closet clean out as well as a thrifting clothing haul. I don't have a thrifted clothes to haul for you today. We're just tackling the closet. It's going to be a lot. I've got Ainsley down for a nap. I've got the monitor on her. We've got Rascal Flats playing in the background for her. Hopefully I can get as much of this done while she is napping as possible. If she wakes up, so be it. Thanks for being here. If you haven't already, I would invite you to subscribe, click the bell notification to be notified of any new uploads. And if you like decluttering content, go ahead and like this video as it gives me the feedback that this is the same kind of content you want to see moving forward on this channel. It's also one of the reasons I'm doing this video is because so many of you liked that decluttering video that I've posted previously. I'll have a link up for it. It should be up in this corner. I hope I'm right. I'm pretty sure it's right. Back corner. <laughs> Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the closet. Step one is going to be taking everything out of the closet, put it onto the bed, and actually take everything off the hangers so it forces me to have to try everything on. Yes, that's painful, but we're gonna do it. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I I would like to say that this is all of it But it's not I have more I have more Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Phase one of this closet declutter check. It did take me a few hours because phase one, let me remind you, was trying on every piece of clothing in my closet. That was everything in this closet behind me as well as a small section of a closet over here. There's essentially three closets in this one room. When I open up the closet, it may seem like it's the same amount of clothing. And now allow me to walk you through why it's not the same amount of clothing. All of this is clothing that is leaving my closet today. All of that. So we have two full bins and a laundry basket. That's why it's less 
in my closet. An entire bin that's going to get most likely rehomed to my sister, which is insane. So that's one of the reasons why it actually took me so long to get through this phase one, is that everything I was trying on, I was snapping photos of and sending it to my sister to see if she was interested. If she doesn't like them from there, they'll probably go to the thrift store. This is an entire bin of items that is not breast friendly, not breast... Ugh. It is an entire bin of items that is not breastfeeding friendly. Things like bodysuits. So I still love my bodysuits, but because they are full coverage up on the top most of the time and then snap down at the bottom, it's not easy to then, you know, breastfeed. That are also items that need me to be smaller across the chest to wear. So I'm hoping that after the breastfeeding journey, I can fit into some of these items. I only saved the items in here of that category that were my absolute favorite. And then the other category that's in this bin is maternity. Technically it's not leaving leaving, but it's not going to be in my everyday closet where it's going to be distracting me. This top bin is everything that is absolutely going to the thrift store. So it is leaving, it is never coming back, so I know that for certain. The reason that the empty bin is important, this bin was completely filled with athletic wear. Completely. Unless you are a like professional athlete or something like that. Who needs an entire bin filled with athletic wear? I certainly do not. So if you do, congratulations. I do not. It was living on the floor of the closet and now, now it's gone. Now it's empty. Getting through this part makes me feel so much better. It makes me feel lighter knowing that everything in my closet fits me. That was just phase one, as I've mentioned before. Phase two of this is actually taking what's in there and creating outfits. Just because I know that they fit me doesn't mean I actually still like them. I got my first glimpse of this while I was trying everything on. I'm not saying that I'm any kind of big fashionista, that I have, you know, superb style and that I have a Pinterest wardrobe or anything like that. I'll flash a few images of my top outfits that I come up with, how I want to dress moving forward as a new mom. Life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down I would like to still get fewer items in my closet that I truly want to wear because if I don't actually want to wear it or I have no purpose for it, then it doesn't need to be in my closet. I'm really excited to relinquish all of these items and really have a more curated collection. I do have a few things here that are actually going into my sewing projects. So these are my sewing projects that I have. Um, this is a dress that I'm gonna turn into a skirt. These two um, knits have holes in them, so I'm going to try and fix them. These pants have seam that's busted on the side. They're like a yoga pant. And then these are a wide leg denim that I actually bought in a size tall or long and I'm not either one of those and so I, I've been meaning to hem them and I haven't hemmed them yet. Let me go ahead and show you a more kind of walk you through more of the closet on what's actually in the closet, why it's staying and what we got. Hello! This closet over here was actually just holding all of my business clothes and I don't really need that many. They're actually able to all fit in that other closet. Wedding desk dresses, which I still have some of those. And then this is all of like Eric's like business suits and everything. But the one thing I did want to show you was the, how many hangers are empty. 
and it's all pants because there was a ton of pencil skirts and trousers that no longer fit me and I also did like jumpsuits and stuff on these and now I have my jumpsuits hanging um the one or two that I kept I think I only kept one jumpsuit actually and then I've just got you know the four fancier dresses good for like you know special occasions holiday parties wedding guests those kinds of things really limited down this closet it was completely full on this side and it's empty and just look at all those empty hangers that is fantastic um, that's my hats and scarves and we'll talk about that another time back over here to this closet I did really want to hone in on the fact that I only have one pair of jean shorts that I'm actively wearing so that's this empty hanger here blue stretcher shorts here got some green got linen shorts and then we've got pants we've got a green pant here linen white pant we've got a striped pant this is kind of looks like it's a linen but it's actually just like a cotton and then we've got more business um, trousers here so I have like three business trousers here, one business dress, uh, two blazers, one sweater back here, and then that's the denim as I mentioned before. So this section is very, very curated. This is all active wear. This is my slips, jumpsuit, a couple of dresses here, and then I've got kind of moving into all of my tops. So over on the far side, we have some wintry vests and sweaters, and then kind of moving in to more of just, we've got like blues to teals to greens to creams, over into the black category. So the tops is really where I need to kind of um, hone in a little bit better. The tops uh, are still kind of out of control in my opinion. I've mixed in some of what would normally be like my business clothes. I've then like mixed into my casual wardrobe because I work from home. So I might as well, you know, enjoy these clothes more than just the um, like one or two times I go into the office. As always, thanks so much for stopping by my channel and spending a little portion of your day with me here. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Again, if you haven't already, I do invite you to to subscribe, click that bell notification to be notified of any new uploads, and yeah, like this video if you like that decluttering content. I really appreciate every single time y'all do that because it does give me that feedback that I am looking for so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, I appreciate each and every one of you, and I cannot wait until I get to see you in the next video. Until then, be well, my friends. Bye. That just happened.